Sweet Ed. And we're going to do something rather special today. I'm going to do some street magic. I'm actually going to uh, terrorise the good people of Hamlet of Birmingham in order to get one or two laughs. And uh, I must admit, I am so Shit, I really am. I'm going to turn one of them. I'm absolutely flabbing off, so you can see. Thanks, I'm going to do that. I've got this sort of thing going on, I don't know. Anyway, so that's what's going on. But I really am. I'm, I'm dreadfully nervous. I really am very nervous. I, I don't know what's possessed me to, to do this. No, actually, I do know what possessed me. I went to a party. Uh, Saturday night, so Saturday night, Saturday just gone. It was my friend Sarah's birthday. And got on the car, we went and we had drinks and all sorts. It was really, really was fantastic. It was a fantastic day. And for her birthday, I gave her a private magic show. Now, I've never done a private show before. I've never, I don't do many of the tricks all in one go. But I did this little, this little show for her, and it was brilliant. She, and Sarah couldn't have been, could have. Yeah, couldn't have been the be a better audience for me because she did the tricks and she's thoroughly amazed how it was done but she didn't want to know how it was done and I like that so I, I, I said you know party birthday present can be if you want to know how the trick's done you know I'll show you but only you, you know, it's part of the magi magician's uh, the magician's first law you never tell them how it's done and she decided against it so I don't know. That was nice, that was, because at the same time I didn't really want to sort of blow the illusion for her, but you know, sort of, the offer was there, but you know, thanks for she didn't take it. Uh, from Gavin, because I am nervous, I am very nervous, I am, I'm about this close, so I'm saying, you know, bollocks, it's, you know. But I'm not going to do that, I'm going to plough on, no trooper, I see we can't terrorise. I'm not just going to go walk up to anybody, I'm going to size people up. But uh, I'll talk a bit more about that when we get there. But uh, I am nervous, but I'm going to do this. And uh, he thinks this is going to be a riot. I hope. Okay people, here we are. We are outside Forbidden Planet. Uh, just about, yeah, you know what it looks like. Look, there's another sign there, and another sign there. Forbidden Planet. But I'm here. We are in Birmingham. We are in Birmingham. Edward. Hello. Yes. Oh, have you, say, have you seen the hot posters around? Not round from, but I have seen them on the bus. Yes. So the game of hot is still on. Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm. Yes. Yeah. Yes. No. No. Bouncy, 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 bouncy. We won't go down that road. Right. I need something liquid. I need something brown. I need something inside me. Otherwise, I ain't not doing these magic tricks. Drink. Drink <laughs> and food. Well, why not? To the bar. <laughs> the man is a raging alcoholic, but I love him. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. We're in uh, how do you pronounce this place? It's Bacas. We'd say it says drinks. <laughs> 
we're in drinks, <laughs> or we should be. Now we're in um, a lot of little restaurants in Birmingham, which not many people know about today. I'm not going to tell you where it is. Like so many of my, my best magic tricks, you're never going to find out. And I'm here, again, with Edward, looking very orange, with a bottle of 21. <laughs> It's a fine vintage. <laughs> it's a fine vintage. And this is why we're in drinks. 21 drinks. And Edward Miller. And this is just, this is just the pre-game uh, bravery, if you like, because uh, I think I know what we're going to do. Here we go, some tricks and everything. Edward's going to be my cameraman, aren't you? Yes. This way, he we, he doesn't have to he doesn't have to look at Barry. He just has to hold the camera. I go, I'm not fucking with him. <laughs> I'll just point the camera. Um, but this is just a chance to relax, chill, eat fantastic fish and chips. And there he is, stroking for the Bond Cat of Doctor Who costumes. Turns around, good evening, Mr. Bond. He's stroking his costume. Yes, but if, just make sure that the relationship between you and your costume. See, he looks dinky in that chair. Look at him. <laughs> he looks tiny. <laughs> he looks tiny little chair. The suit is bigger than his head. Ed, move your head. Actually, actually, move his, move your body over. Move it. That's it. <laughs> You have been scanned. Dave, thank you very much. We now have all your nefarious secrets. You can't say something, you know. Yeah, Ed? I like boobs. <laughs> Those are actually epically true wise words. I like boobs too. You like the barmaid's boobs? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> there you go, John. You're in the vlog. Ah. So yeah, we like boobs. Boobs are nice. Boobs are good. Uh. Mm.